Veteran broadcaster Fred Nyongesa Ongalo has passed on. Nyongesa breathed his last on Sunday evening while undergoing treatment at a hospital in Bungoma. Nyongesa's former colleagues at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation have eulogized him as a pioneer in sports broadcasting and a people person who inspired many through his radio and television programs. <laughs> mtu ambaye hana makeke mtu ambaye hataki makuu mtu ambaye hataki masingenyo na tulifanya naye kazi vizuri he is one of my mentors in the journalism industry when i joined kbc i joined as a sports reporter and he's one of the people i found on the sports desk very vibrant very uh, willing to help uh, when i wanted to try my hand at translating from english to kiswahili he is also one of of the people who encouraged me to go for it. Although he had already retired, we still remember the desolate moments we had with him. One funny thing about uh, Nyongesa, uh, when uh, the computers came to the newsroom with the advent of the internet, Ongalo Nyongesa refused to use the computer. In fact, there was a typewriter in the newsroom that was known to be Fred Ongalo Nyongesa's typewriter. Bali na kwamba computers zilikuwa zimeletwa hapa katika chumba cha habari newsroom na alikuwa amekaa karibu takriban miaka mitatu kwa hivyo ile typewriter ambayo ilikuwa peke yake katika chumba cha habari ilikuwa ni ya Fred Nyongesa Ongalo. Alikuwa mshauri. Alikuwa anajenga wale na wajua alitujenga sisi na nitamjua kama mtu ambaye anapenda kuzungumza na watu, mtu ambaye anapenda kujumuika na watu mtu ambaye ni rahisi wa kutangamana uh, sio mtu sio mtu wa ambaye na uh, kisasi anaweza kuwa na kisasi na mtu na kifo chake ni pigo uh, kwetu ambao tumemfahamu hatuna hala ziada kwa sababu hiyo ndio njia ya Mungu na Mungu amechukua mavuno yake kwa sababu sisi binadamu hatuna zaidi la kusema